Welcome to our piping engineering channel. In this video, we'll be showing you how to calculation the length of pipe piece in the piping 3D model drawing. Please subscribe to our channel to watch more like useful video before starting this tutorial video. This video provides excellent practice information about piping skills for piping fitters. Let's starting pipe tutorial video. As you can see, the 8 inch pipeline comes horizontally, then goes down at a 45 degree angle and continues horizontally at a 45 degree angle. We are required to calculate the length of this piece of pipe used between two 45 degree but weld elbows in this pipeline. For this, we must first find the distance between the centers of the 45 degree but weld elbows. Then, if we subtract the lengths of the elbows from this distance, we can find the length of the pipe piece. To find the distance between the centers of the pipe elbows, we will use this right triangle formed by dashed lines. The hypotenuse of the vertically right angle triangle is the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Let's mark the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle with big letter H. Since one of the angles of this right triangle is 45 degree, automatically the other angle will be 45 degree and other side will 900 millimeters as well. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right triangle. According to the Pythagorean theorem, 900 squared plus 900 squared is equals big little h squared. Continued to calculate the h squared is equals 1620000. Again, Continue to calculate the h is equal 1620000 under the root. At last, we will use scientific calculator and found h is equals approximately to 1273 millimeters. This measurement will also be the same as the distance between the elbows in the pipeline. Now, we need to find out 8 inch, 45 degree but weld elbows length. Pipe elbow dimensions are covered in ASMEB 16.9. Let's look at the table given the dimension but weld 45 degree elbow size 1 to 12. The nominal pipe sizes of elbows are shown in the first column of this table. This letter D written on the 45 degree elbow indicates the outside diameter of the 45 degree elbow and is shown in this column. These letters be written on the 45 degree elbow indicates the length of the center to end dimension of the 45 degree elbow and is shown in this column. Since the pipeline in our video is 8 inch, we will look at the row written as 8 inch in the NPS column. In this table shows that 8 inch but welded 45 degree elbows have an outside diameter of 219 mm and a center to tip dimension of 127 mm. Now let's go back to our main video. We already know the distance between the centers of the elbows and the lengths of the 45 degree but weld elbows. During fit up, between pipe fittings should be cap, approximately 3 mm, it is for welding. You can see this gap for welding is practical now, in this video. During fit up, such are opened between the pipe fittings to be welded, and a gap of approximately 3 to 4 millimeters. Having this 3 4 millimeter gap is for better root welding. Accordingly, we can easily calculate the length of the pipe segment between the elbows. Pipe length equal total length 1273 millimeters minus 2 times 8 inch 45 degree but weld elbow dimension 127 millimeters minus 2 times gaps for welding 3 mm. At last, we calculate and found length of pipe piece on this 8 inch pipe line is 1019 mm. By using this method, you can easily calculate distances between the elbows in the any pipe lines. This tutorial video is finishing here, if you have any question about video, you can write comments in the comments section. Your ideas are very interesting for us. You can watch like those videos by entering the links in the description below of this video. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our piping tutorial channel. Your support is very important for us, let's not miss the comments and likes my friends.
Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Take care.